Here we go again with another Cool Loser Tech video. This is the Zero Lemon. I am a huge fan. They make a lot of power accessories for your phones. And this is the Google Pixel 2 that I have XL. And this case was under $3. I'll explain it. With that said, it's not gonna do what the Zero Lemon's gonna offer me. Yeah. Before we get right to the juicy stuff. Whew. The reason why it's going to be a big bulky case because it has 8,500 milliamp hour battery. Look at the battery portion right now. 8,500 milliamps is inside of this brick. Now it is super thick and you can see that it's USB-C. So in the hand, this does feel heavy. And then if we click on that, we see the three bars left. If we press that, that's how much battery juice we have. From a really thin case, it's going to be a little odd to hold something this bulky, but guess what? Sometimes your battery dies way too quick on a phone. The Pixel doesn't have really good battery on it, I will say. And I use this everywhere on a daily. Sometimes I go on big trips and having it plugged into a portable charger is not always convenient. Like my Zero Lemon, I love this. I take it everywhere. I do use it to charge this on the go. But again, I trust Zero Lemon because it's been reliable. This is a bigger case. I don't have to carry this bulky thing with me. I can just use this juice for it. This should be able to charge the Pixel phone two times fully, maybe three. It's a pretty thick, flexible case here. This is the shell that will have this go inside. Obviously, you're going to have the phone naked, and it just slides perfectly right in there. I'm going to stick this right in there, squeeze it right in there. It does feel two and a half, maybe three times heavier. It's literally going to be a heavy device to put in your pocket. And it's going to be really thick if you're wearing skinny jeans. But the whole purpose is to be able to never run out of battery on a long trip. The side buttons are clicky. I like it. So if you needed to find these buttons, you're going to feel them. They feel really great. It has enough lift where it's not going to touch the screen, but it's barely raised above it. It's doing better than this little case that I have here. What about these little bottom firing speakers? I have no idea why they're there since our front facing speakers are already facing forward. So it's a little odd to see. Now how to turn this on, just like the other one, you want to press and hold and it'll charge. Now it is charging. We could also see right then and there that it is charging. So within itself, it's going to charge. And maybe you notice that it didn't come with a charging cable. That's because you're going to have to use your own Pixel cable that just plugs in right into there. It is USB type C. So if you have a lot of these laying around, if you need to charge or when you need to charge, that's how you're going to juice it up. So just double checking the holes. This is the microphone. It is completely uncovered. How's the camera now? Do I see anything obstructing it? No, I do not. Let me take a picture right here. And now let me take a picture right here. Let's take a look. Nope, nothing obstructing. It does not have any issue with the case on. Feel a little comfortable, but it does feel like it's gonna be heavy if you were holding this. It does stand up on its own if you wanna use it that way. It also stands up on the side, so you don't need a kickstand, and if it falls over, it's gonna protect. Now the next question is how fast will this charge? I'm sitting at 72% right now, so I'm gonna press the button to charge and it is charging now. And it is 4.15, so we're gonna let it charge for 15 minutes and see where it sits. We'll be right back. Okay, time to look. Double tap and look at it, and it's at 81% in just 15 minutes. And it gives me a prediction that 33 minutes until full based on the current that is charging. So it's gonna be charging fairly quick. Obviously, when you wanna use the juice, when it starts to die, so you don't really need to have it charging the whole entire time. Again, it's not gonna be an everyday case for my use, but it could be for you. Now, based on just the phone alone, without this battery case, so every night I have to charge it for sure. Now, with this battery case, I should be able to go two days without even having to plug my phone in to charge because this is going to give me enough juice now to take it off just pick on the corner and whoa almost broke it actually do not try to do that make sure we take it out with the phone not the phone pulling up because you're going to break and i didn't think i pulled it hard enough to even break it press it and it is charging so i did not ruin anything so if you're going to take the phone out make sure you take this out with it and unplug it so that's a good tip there that i just discovered charging and the fingerprint placement is reachable. It's deep in there, but it's definitely not gonna obstruct anything. And to test here, if you can still squeeze your phone, it does still detects it just fine. There you guys have it. If you want for yourself, you already know what to do. Find in the description down below. Is it that? All right. Until next time, I will see you guys later.